Hey everyone, Zero JD here with the X-Play Fan Channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Jack and Jill DX, a uh, simple but yet challenging platformer. Uh, it's actually pretty fun. It's very simple. It doesn't try to do anything like crazy. There's like no super collectibles. It's uh, just get from point A to point B, jumping, hopping, skipping, whatever you want to call it. Uh, first, I want to just let you know for the achievement hunters out there, this is probably like a 20 to 30 minute completion. I got it. I've had it done for a little while and I moved on to the second set of stages. So if that's what you're into, it's actually a fairly cheap game, but it's actually pretty fun if you ask me. So first off, you have like your normal play. Uh, the story is like, hey, Jack and Jill were traveling together and they kind of got separated. Just find the other one. You can play as Jack or Jill. Uh, you unlock mini games for each uh, world you complete. I have unlocked the first world. I'm kind of into the second world. And they are, so far, it's been very simple. But what you're using the tickets for, what you get in those, is you can buy hats. And I'm gonna buy a hat, and then I'm gonna equip it. And that's it. But I'm gonna show you the main meat of the game. We're actually gonna go and start at the second level of the first thing. So I can show you how simple it is in the main stuff. So uh, you hit A, and you're going back and forth, going until you hit a wall. So the point is, you're jumping. And that's about it for the first uh, handful of levels. So that was the best way to kind of show that off. So let's go and move to, let's say the 16th level where it's gotten a little bit more crazy. So now they've introduced enemies, spikes, and all kinds of other goodies, but the core idea remains the same. If you bump into a wall, you turn around. And this is why I like this game. Very simple, not trying to be super flashy, no force collectibles, no stars. Just beat this level, take your time, take as many times as you need to, and keep moving on. Uh, they also are very simple in their explanations. No overly like, hey, I'm going to show you how to do it. No, it's you jump on an enemy, you're going to bounce off of them. Very, again, simple and very, uh, oh, nope. Very uh, just simple and to the point. No little cutscene or uh, snappy dialogue. I think the most they've talked is, hey, at the beginning, like, hey, if they've introduced something new, they kind of uh, talk about it and that's it. Uh, the coins are what you use in those little mini games. Uh, you can play more to get tickets and unlock outfits and stuff like that. Uh, the levels can get challenging, but they're never unfairly hard. So let's actually skip on to the next section where I'm at about six. At this point, they've introduced uh, wall jumps. So we'll get to that in one second. And, and this is where I'm starting to get curious about what we will see later on. What exactly can we expect from later uh, fun levels? So that did not work out for me. Uh, the one down thing I will have to say that there is, uh, is the music is oddly mixed. It is insanely loud when recording, not sure why. And the music of the first, uh, the main menu and the first levels will bore its way. I did the same thing again, uh, bore its way into your skull, but not in a bad way. It's the kind of catchy, good music you'll be humming, but then kind of hate yourself for liking it but uh, not in a bad way whatsoever. So let's see if I can get this. Hop, hop. Also like games where I can literally just play with one hand. Oh, nope. Uh, some of the levels have had, uh, you can either go like up or down, but no like crazy divergent pathing as of yet, which again, adds to the niceness of it's a simple platformer. I think that a lot of platformers who try to do stuff like this get tied down in collectibles or uh, just way too much stuff happening in the stage. And this one uh, keeps it real with a uh, simple objective, get to the other, per the other side. Ooh. All right, so this is a, uh, there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, was not ready for that. I'm hoping that by the end of the game, we have like a whole bunch of, uh, oops, a whole bunch of interesting uh, mechanics that kick in. So by the end of it, we got like wall jumps, this running mechanic in. Essentially, all kinds of crazy stuff just happening. Oh, 
Oh, so close. Oh, he got. It looks like he was sad, but I don't. I think that was just his little uh, animation. That is weird because uh, that that shoe lasted a lot longer than the uh, first shoe. Are they? Is she, is she wearing the shoe? Or is it like kind of like a Mario where you kind of hop in the shoe? I don't know. There we go. We made it. But again, like I said earlier, for Achievement Hunters, a very easy completion. It's a very nice price. I believe it's sub $6 if I'm recalling correctly. So I could give it my recommendation. Not just because of the price, but it is a fun little game. And uh, I feel that way too many games, like the uh, too many kind of platformers like this, uh, try way too hard to be flashy and end up just either having way too much or oddly barren for what they're trying to show off. I also appreciate that I don't have to get worry about stars or anything. It's just like, hey, just finish this level and you get to keep going. So we'll do a few more levels and I'll maybe show you some of the one of the mini games I've unlocked. Or the mini game I've unlocked. go check out that mini game and there are seven i believe uh, seven worlds two four yes and each has about 20 levels so you're gonna keep yourself busy uh challenges are what they say get a thousand coins it's just little unlockable fun things nothing crazy uh some of the stuff you can buy uh, later on i noticed is most of it's tickets and outfits but you can actually apply color to the screen which i think is pretty great get red and just make it like into a uh, virtual boy or if you're having issue on a level and you get 100 tickets you can just skip that level and of course if you get enough tokens you can just be like hey just give me those tickets and this is uh, this little mini game you're just getting the little bad guys the other side but again I, I I appreciate that it's a simple platformer, not trying to do too much. Uh, one button, not being what, not trying to be or claiming to be anything that it isn't. But uh, this is about the extent of the game. I'm hoping that later on that the uh, levels do get kind of crazy or oop, get kind of like, oop. Hmm. I have to hit A to activate, then A to jump. Uh, the, I'm sure that sooner later, like, just how they're introducing stuff that I'll be seeing maybe now multiple new things per level or at least like interactable things not counting like jumping on enemies or jumping over platforms and stuff like that oh. also I really do like the concept of hey the only thing you're can jump your joint you're, you're uh, fully controlling is the jump so what can I buy now I want, I want the cat but the bunny's kind of cute and they all have like a little hair. The pot. It kind of looks like uh, the hat that uh, Jojo uh, Jojo wears in Jojo's Bizarre Uh I don't remember. There's too many Joes. It's also Mojo Jojo. But let's do uh, one more level to see if I can't uh, bypass it. But if I can't, I will let you guys go. Well, even if I can do it, I'll let you guys go. I don't want to keep you too long. Uh, even I believe even if you fail a level, you get to keep your uh, coins. Oh, there it is. And... No. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. I am Zero JD. This is the XBA Fans Channel. This was Jack and Jill DX. Uh, I think it's cool that you can also play as either Jack or Jill. And uh, I'll recommend this. It's fun. It's simple. It's an easy, easy achievement, and it does not try to be anything crazy. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.